and the fridge is empty. All right, what's up guys? Before the full day of eating does begin, I've got a quick announcement. The new Alpha Elite launch just went live. You can click the first link in the description if you want to shop anything from their new range. It includes this gray zip-up men's hoodie. They have the same in black and a few more colors. They have this, which is the lifestyle hoodie. You wouldn't really wear this in the gym. They're definitely branching out to more of the fashion realm. It's bright pink, but they do have other colors as well. I personally really like this. With the tan though, I got a spray tan yesterday because I have a photo shoot in two days time. It's making the tan look rather dark, but I'm not complaining. A tan is still a tan. They also have these new active wear shorts. We have a raised Alphalete logo right there. These are the camo ones. They also have the colors in gray and also in navy. This is the other black zip up hoodie. As you can see, the logo is slightly raised, which is sick. They have some branded detailing on the zips and even the little aglets have Alphalete on, which is always a nice little touch. You know the bright pink shorts that I'm wearing in the thumbnail? Well, they now have them in black as well. They did only have like really tropical colors like bright pink and blue and purple, but now they have board shorts in black as well. These are releasing with the new launch. So guys, that is some of the stuff in their new range. Obviously, I don't have everything yet. I'm waiting on a duffel bag. It's their new lifestyle duffel bag. I have the green and red one, the big ones that you've already saw. They have a new smaller black one, which is definitely a lot more business. I'm excited to get that. There's also a bunch of restocked items. There's going to be some pictures here and some new items releasing on top of the stuff that I just showed you. These are some of the pictures when I a shoot the other day with a man called Zane, the guy that made the intro for this YouTube series. He's so talented. The guy is most heavy, but these these are the pictures that were taken. So like I said, guys, if you want to shop anything from the new range, use the first link in the description. If you use this link, it helps me out directly, which I would really appreciate. Now we're going to get on with the full day of eating. This full day of eating is an interesting one because it's the first week my calories have been dropped to put me in a deficit. We're actually a week in the future now and I've lost like, I've lost a little bit more weight, but this is my last couple of days in America. Obviously, as you can see, I'm back home now. That being said, we have a full day of eating to watch. So sit back, relax. And enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. I literally just woke up. It is the 23rd of July, and we are currently eight weeks out from the competition. Now, if you've been watching the series since the very beginning, you'll know that the initial plan for the first four weeks of prep, and now we've been prepping for four weeks, was to build as much muscle going into the first four weeks, being in a slight caloric surplus, not enough to gain any fat, but just enough to grow into the first few weeks of prep. We're just about to do a physique update, take some pictures for my coach and to show you guys my current condition at this point of prep. Obviously at this point, I was never supposed to like lose a drastic amount of body fat considering the calories I was eating today is when things change. But like I said, we're gonna do a physique update, take some pictures for my coach, and then start this full day of eating to show you guys what my current diet is looking like at this point of prep. I'm gonna wear my glasses so I can actually see what I'm doing on the flippy screen on the camera. My eyesight's actually getting worse. I may need to look into laser eye surgery real soon because it's becoming a problem, but <laughs> let's do a physique update. Okay, so glasses on, eight weeks out. This is what I'm looking like just standing here as well. Side and the back. And this side. All right, then guys, so that is it for the physique update. I'm gonna also include the pictures that I just sent to my coach right now. So those were the pictures that I sent to my coach. Hopefully he's happy with the progress. Like I said earlier, we wasn't planning on dropping any, like a sufficient amount of body fat yet, but I am happy the fact that I have dropped a good amount within the first four weeks of prep. But now this is when things get a little bit hard because my calories were 3,200, but as of today, they have been dropped by 400 to 2,800 calories. <laughs> It 
is it weird that like every time I know I'm gonna insert the intro to like a video, like I would have just played the intro. It like gets me going ready for the day. Like I love the intro to this series. Like I'm so happy it turned out the way it did. Right now, we're gonna do a morning weigh-in to see where we are currently at to show you guys current weight loss progression of this prep so far. Right then guys, so I'm currently weighing 209.4 pounds. The notepad of progress. 209.4. That is my current weight. We are currently sub 210 pounds, which means we've lost around six pounds since the beginning of prep, which I am personally really, really happy with. Serious weight loss is about to occur. This is the part where the cravings are gonna start to kick in. I'm gonna start being mentally challenged. My leptin levels are gonna slowly diminish, which is the hormone in the brain that controls cravings. Chemically, this is when I'm really gonna start craving, but I'm actually weirdly looking forward to it. Like I'm excited for the pain because when it starts to hurt, that's when you know that it's working. I'm gonna be putting my body in starvation mode. This is literally a controlled death because you're starving your body that much that it starts to burn and eat itself from the inside as weird as that sounds, but that's what it takes to get competition lean. Shredding down for summer and just losing body fat to just like feel good about yourself and to look good, to be able to see the progress that you've made in the gym, like all your muscles start to come out, that's one thing. Cutting down for a competition, you literally have to put your body into survival mode, which is a controlled death. Yeah, but I'm actually excited about it. <laughs> just making some eggs for breakfast, seasoned with a little garlic salt and some paprika for a little bit of spice. Those just finished cooking. Now, as far as breakfast goes, my oats on my training days have been taken away. There's no toffee stevia anymore. There's no 75 grams of oats. There's literally just 350 milliliters of egg whites. It was 400, but that's been cut by 50 milliliters. So that's gonna be breakfast. Now, before we get into that, I went on a boat trip yesterday with Brittany and a couple of her family friends. And it was actually like really sick. I didn't mean to vlog it, but the footage we ended up getting, it was actually pretty good. So this is how yesterday turned out. So that was the boat trip. Honestly, it was such a good day. It felt good to actually get out and like get somewhat of a tan. I mean, obviously I'm still pale as shit, but it was really nice to just go out there, spend time with Brittany. With that being said, now we're gonna eat some breakfast and then get ready for the day. Breakfast is definitely not gonna fill me up for the next two and a half hours. Right now we're gonna hop in the shower and then go shopping because the fridge is looking kind of empty. So we need to fix that, but first we're gonna shower and then get ready. We're going to this place called Roche Bros, which is a place that I've been going to recently to get all my prep food. They do like fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, big slabs of chicken breast. It's everything you need for prep. All the macros are placed individually on the packet so you know exactly what you're getting. So that is where I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me right now. If you're new to the channel and you wasn't around when I was in America before and you didn't see the apartment tour of when I came here the first time. Considering I just did like a little cleanup, I feel like now's a good time to do a little bit of a apartment tour before we leave. This is the apartment right here. You've got the kitchen, all the cooker and everything like that. You have the fridge over here. You walk through here. This is the living space, flat screen TV, Mila's cage. She's like pretty much dead right here. She just went on a walk, so she's passed out. These are the couches, got some blankets and shit right there. This is the view from this room, mirror, full length for selfies. Then this, this is the bedroom. Got some shelves right there, little makeup desk and stuff for Brittany. This is the bed, little chair, some more shelves right here. And then this is the view from the bedroom. Then for the bathroom, it's pretty decent. We've got the bath, toilet, 
sink, basic, you know, bathroom things. But um, yeah, it's a pretty decent size. Um, yeah, this is what we're working with. That is it for the apartment tour. If you were interested in what it looks like in my living space at the moment while I'm in America with my girlfriend, that being said, I'd rather head out right now and get some food. Walking outside, it is a nice day today. It's a little bit windy, and it's a little bit humid, but it's like, it's nice. First things first, we are in the vegetable section, here to pick up the greens. We're starting off with three fresh bundles of asparagus. Next on the list, as far as greens go, this is probably gonna be the last vegetable that I do end up getting. It's these miniature broccolis. Now, I used to hate broccoli, but over this prep, the way I like steam it and like cook it in the frying pan with a little bit of the baguette seasoning that I use, I almost prefer over sweet potato. So we're gonna get two bundles of this miniature broccoli and then we're gonna head over to the meat section. Now I've got two meats to get. I need turkey breast and I need chicken breast. Chicken breast is easy to find, but turkey breast, I don't know what it is, but in the UK, it's really hard to get a hold of turkey breast. You can get turkey mince because it's so much like lower in fat than chicken breast. Like the fat content is just genuinely lower. It's sometimes better to have, especially if you want to lower the fat content in your diet. Yeah, we're looking for, we're looking for turkey breast. We're gonna get a few packets of this chicken breast. I'm probably gonna have to get three packets of this. Next on the list, we have to get some original almond milk because we're running low on this it's pretty much almost out so just looking for egg whites and i think they've only got these poverty cartons at the top right here they're basically really small cartons i have the one liter cartons at home but if this is all they've got i'm probably just gonna have to get like a couple of cartons of this these are the cartons that they have so i have to fill up on all those i'll get two more and that should be enough we need one tub of quaker oats for when i'm actually allowed these on non-training days and the shit that's literally keeping me alive right now this gets me through some workouts yeah i just love frosties i'm so basic <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I would love to have like cinnamon toast crunch or just like fruit loops or something like crazy sugar dense. I'm not allowed that shit. So I got frosties. Have a good one, mate. Before I show you guys what I've got, this shit cost 90 pound, $110. Four days worth of food. Prep in the US is so expensive, which is one of the reasons I'm actually not staying here for too long. If in the UK, I could have got all that for like 40 pound, but it's over double here for some reason. Even still, these are just the cards that we have right now. We still have to get the food. We still have to consume the calories. So it is what it is, but um, this is what we got. Right, so here we have the broccoli and asparagus. We have the frosted flakes back here. Oats, six cartons of egg whites, four trays of turkey breast, six trays of chicken breast, and one carton of almond milk. Obviously, you have to take into account the fact that this isn't all the food on my diet. We still have stuff in the house, so I didn't actually spend all the money that I could have on the rest of the things that I need for prep. Just to put things into perspective on how actually expensive it is to live in this part of Boston, it's Seaport Boston, which is like downtown, it's like the most expensive part. Not that like money's an issue, like money is not an issue when it comes to like buying all the food, like I've got enough money in the bank. Obviously, I'm not worried about anything financially, it's just it would be nice if it was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> just over here cooking some chicken and turkey breast, I've got some more turkey breast left to cook right here. Just finished making meal number two, we have 220 grams of chicken breast, a handful of asparagus, and 200 grams of sweet potato. I've got some more chicken here ready for the next meal after this one as well. And then Mila's over here just enjoying a barbecue rib. You know, the ones that I'm not actually allowed, but she can have them, so at least they're not going to waste. All right, guys, so the shorts are on. The sun has decided to come out, so me and Brittany are gonna go down and enjoy some of the weather by the pool. Just having the second chicken and sweet potato meal. Got some asparagus as well. The only difference with these meals since the diet change, 30 grams of chicken has been taken away, so instead of 230 grams, which I was having before, I'm actually only having 200 grams right now. The sweet potato and the asparagus have stayed the same, so this meal hasn't really like altered too much, but I've got two of these. I've already eaten one, I've got this one left, and then I've got a meal before the gym, which we'll get into that a little bit later on. But as well, I'm currently getting my gallon and a half in. I've got to have four to five liters a day, which is about a gallon and a half. With my liquid water enhancers, I've got the best aminos and the best energy. I'm gonna go down and enjoy the sun while it's out. Boston weather lately has not been predictable. So we're gonna enjoy this, eat this, and then I'll see you guys again at the next meal. Need some turkey breast. Next, we need some jasmine rice. All right then guys, so just finished making meal number four of today. This is gonna be our pre-workout meal. We've got 250 grams of jasmine rice, 200 grams of turkey breast, and over the top, I've got some sriracha sauce and Frank's Red, both super low carb sauces. I'm gonna mix this all together right now, 
and have this for the pre-workout meal. Come here, come here in the vlog. Okay, I'll take it. All right, can you get the Diet Coke out for me too? Oh, cheers. I'm actually allowed Diet Coke and like fizzy pop that's like low calorie, so I'm allowed Diet Coke, because she's the whole family's here. I'm allowed Zero Calorie Monster, basically anything that's got like zero calorie in it. Should we just do a Britney grocery haul? Ready? First off, first off, let's show them um, your background on your phone screen. How cute is that? That is like next level cute. <laughs> so first off, we got Mila treats. She doesn't eat her food, but she eats. She has too many treats. She hasn't been eating anything. So I got her all these different flavors of food. Flavors. Beef with meaty juices, filet mignon with bacon and potato. Here I am eating turkey breast and rice and my dog's eating filet mignon flavored food. Yep. And what, then what, um, what world do we live chef in? Chef inspired chicken entree cuts in gravy. They were like $2 each. My grocery, my CVS run was like $87. I got nail polish and then I got myself a bunch of nail polishes. I just had a moment. I guess. Four new nail polishes. I just couldn't. Pick Should we one. show them how many you have in the bathroom already? I don't have any fun ones. You say that every time you buy a fun new one. None of these are fun. Why is purple this and is blue fun? fun? Which one? I like just. Which red. one do you like? I know you like red. I like it's this so annoying. one. Brandon only likes whore nails. I don't get it. I'm not gonna put that in the vlog. It's true though. Do you want? Do you want some of my prep food? No, there's hot sauce. Hot sauce is like what gives me life. The sun is setting on the city right now. It's pretty sick. This is the view that we're currently looking at. This is like the building and this is like the city, but it looks pretty cool. After I finish this meal, obviously we're going to the gym because it's the pre-workout meal, but um, I'm actually going to be deadlifting. I haven't deadlifted in probably like two or three weeks. Like I completely forgot about deadlifting. I was training back, but I just like didn't deadlift. We're going to be deadlifting. Obviously we're going to do like the rest of back stuff too, like more isolated exercises. We're going to see what we can do today. 530 pound deadlift. Just got in the gym, about to make a pre-workout drink. Got some best glutamine. Definitely going to need a pre-workout today because we are deadlifting. So we've got one more rep. And then lastly, if I'm find it of course we have my favorite flavor of the best bcaa pineapple now i'm gonna sip on this then start with deadlifts that's what we're starting the back workout with we're gonna work our way out the plates i'm not gonna talk too much in between sets you can go one plate two plates three plates four plates five plates and then it gets difficult so we're gonna see what happens until that point but we got deadlifts <laughs> Have a look at that myself, like a couple minutes rest. Yeah. Then go for it. I might be alright. Last set on deadlift. Right over here, we have 545 on the bar. This is the dreaded deadlift. The deadlift that I've never ever got. I have no idea if I'm gonna get it today. It's the way that I've tried twice. I think I've tried it twice, maybe three times, and I've never managed to get it. Jesus, mate, calm down. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get it today. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I fell forward. I was getting that. I'm gonna go again. Right. Socks off. I literally have no words for getting that. Like, obviously, I've been working for that. For the past five years initially, or five and a half years, 240 kilo, eight weeks out from my competition, which is literally madness, considering I'm like, this is my first day of, like, caloric deficit, and I'm hitting PRs. We're gonna move on to a straight arm pull down, but a different variation, because we're gonna be using a bench to confine ourselves, to stop any, like, swaying, or, like, implementing our triceps into the exercise. It's a lot more of a restricted way to do it, but I'll show you in a second, but first, we've got lateral pull downs, and then straight um pull downs you can grab any kind of rope i'm just grabbing the ones that they have available right now which is these like long rope grips but we're going to be grabbing them grab any bench set it at a 45 ish degree angle poke your chest out just a little bit and then Bring it through and squeeze.
Next exercise for back is gonna be the lateral pull down machine right behind me. The way it hoists you up, you'll see in a second, if you haven't seen it already, it's really good for building the thickness of the lats. Right now we're doing underarm rows, we're grabbing the grip that's underneath. Try not to like utilize our biceps too much. We obviously just want to be squeezing the backs, forearms, biceps out of the movement as much as you can. So loud. Wasn't originally planning on training arms, but I'm feeling like a decent bicep pump. So we're gonna do some machine curls. We're just gonna do three sets of these, and then we're gonna finish off with some hammer curls, some really heavy hammer curls. One second up, three seconds down. One second up, three seconds down. Members and guests, the club is closing in 30 minutes. I could not listen to her talk for longer than 10 seconds. I guess it's the American accent, which is so annoying. Oh God, <laughs> fuck off. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> and we are done. Sorry, Sorry dude. <laughs> and that is it for back and biceps. Now for a post workout meal. What a funny joke. Post workout meal? I don't think so, Brandon. You have half an hour on the stairmaster. You're on prep, mate. And then we can eat. <laughs> If I'm being real with you, that was the hardest cardio session of this prep so far. Level six on the Stairmaster. Honestly, I need like 400 less calories today. I felt it, but we just did it, so now we're gonna get some food. Now we got a little bit of a treat. We have 75 grams of cereal. We got Frosties today and a little bit of Special K with 200 milliliters of almond milk. I'm gonna delete this. And then after that, we have this. We have 250 grams of chicken breast, some lettuce in there for some volume. Oh man. Mm. Alright then guys, it is time for bed. So we're having the final meal of the day, which isn't even a meal, it's a protein shake. But this is the last thing that we are consuming today. I've got one scoop of the Way HD by BPO Sports. If you want to pick this up, you can use the code HARDBODY for 20% off. This flavor is strawberry cake. I've got one scoop of this. Right now guys, I'm going to drink this and head straight off to sleep. I'm not going to wait for it to digest or anything. I've got no work to do right now. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you think this full day of eating could help a friend, this is the kind of full day of eating that's really gonna like help prompt fat loss now i'm in a deficit i'm gonna slowly start to notice my fat dropping off 2800 calories for me i think is below my maintenance so it's time to get shredded but with that being said guys we're gonna end this video here if you enjoyed it please smash the like button if you haven't already join the dance squad thank you alistair kelly for being part of the dance squad if you haven't already subscribed i'll see you guys in the next video peace